It all started on the little Danish island called Manu. A young boy named Willem Kahn Rasmussen loved to play on the beach. At an early age, he was enthusiastic at building things. His father was a pastor and teacher on the island. He believed in fresh air and plenty of sunshine for a healthy soul in a healthy body. These elements were a strong foundation for Willem's roots. Willem, later known as KR, was accepted to study at the Technical University of Copenhagen. KR got a grant from the school. In the late 20s, engineers were sought after and held in high esteem. KR enrolled in structural engineering and he showed a keen interest in radio receivers. He was able to finish his studies with fine grades. KR had a bright and optimistic future. But then, unemployment swept through Europe. KR was forced to take a job beneath his qualifications. We've calculated the measurements and sketched the design. You, you just fill in the lines. KR was not discouraged. In his spare time, he sent out dozens of job applications a day. Your qualifications look fine. Listen, I need a manager for a glass roof department. Are you up for the job? KR was the only person in the department and he gained experience in design, product development, installation of structural glazing and overall management. Work did not magically appear. KR would cycle up to 70 kilometers a day visiting architects to find projects. Gradually, the orders came through. The economy was good and KR prospered. During this period, KR took leave of his job and joined the scientist Lauger Cox expedition to Greenland. It was the largest expedition ever sent from Denmark. KR worked as a motorboat helmsman and telegraphist. The voyage gave him valuable experience in collaborating with people. Soon he was to make another journey. He married a girl named Bodil and they started a family. KR also made a career move and became a sales manager at one of Denmark's leading machine works. But after a while, he found the company culture was not to his liking. Honey. <sighs> I was thinking about starting my own company. I'm sure I can do better. I'd rather have five clients as employers than one employer that tells me what to do. So he started his own company, specializing in glass roofs. The timing for a new enterprise was perhaps not the best, considering the world was in the midst of a war. And rations affected everyone. KR had to improvise. The tubus glazing bar was KR's first patent. He used galvanized pipes to make a putty-free glass roof. Pipes were a material not on the ration list, Using untraditional materials triggered KR's inventiveness. But he soon found problems keeping his business going. He needed to diversify. Denmark was occupied by Germany. Many regions were without public power. He collaborated with an old school friend to build windmills and found alternative ways to work around gasoline rationing. Cornelius, for our windmill motor, we could use generators from cars. Yeah, we, we might as well get some use out of them. KR and his partner were able to collect seven hours of power to light up a house, a small success. But the windmills never became profitable. Ah, ah. What's wrong, honey? What, what's wrong? I mean, this darn window keeps leaking. Why doesn't someone make a roof window that's worth a damn? Easy, easy. But, but it's the same cast iron skylight we sold to our customers. They're just no good. It, it's just rubbish. You're creative. You can fix it. Well, I've got other things at the moment. 
but... One day, KR was invited to give a bid on a new project. Well, we have an exciting job. We're going to build a sports centre with a large glass roof. Yes, yes, uh, indeed, that looks quite interesting. But tell me, what's this project? Well, we're not exactly finished with that, but we're planning a new school. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a bid on the glass roof, but I also want to bid on this project. Because I believe I have the proper roof window to fit that job. Roof openings have been around for centuries, but the structure designs varied and the need for improvement was essential. In the pioneer spirit, KR designed a roof window never before seen. He studied how light penetrates a building at different angles. This is what I want to do. Once and for all, I'll make a skylight, a roof window, that in every respect is just as good as the best vertical window. We're going to use wood in the inside frame, like regular windows. And then we cover zinc cladding onto the outside to protect the wood. And we add condensation drains just to avoid dripping. Keep in mind that the typical distance between rafters is about 90 centimeters. So our window will be 78 centimeters to fit in between. And the height of the window will match a standardized zinc sheet. The roof window was a success. From the very beginning, KR strived after rational solutions. But he felt there was something missing. Hansen, you know what we need for our roof window? A name! We've got ventilation, we've got light. V for ventilation, and the Latin word for light is Lux! Velux! KR came up with a unique name that revealed the soul of his many inventions. The war still weighed heavy on his new company. The KR would not give up. He knew there were no rations on daylight, so he continued to create. And then came a crucial moment, the invention of the pivot hinge. Sven, Sven, help me mount this on a window frame. I've never seen a roof window mounted on its own axis. If we can prevent any damage to the outside cladding... You're right, you're right, and I believe it'll be easier to clean the outside window pane when it swings open. If we grind the edges on this hinge and smooth the lip, it'll swing a whole lot better. Good idea, Sven. Let's, let's give it a try. And the experiments continued. Read all about it. Read all about Celebrations it. spread across Europe. The war had ended, and KR partook in the excitement. Everybody, take three days off. Enjoy the fresh air and festivities. But for KR, the party didn't last long. Yeah, but, but I'm forced to invest my own money to keep the company afloat. <laughs> the last four months' business has come to a halt. The demand for glass roofs had disappeared, but it was glass roofs that got the company up and running again. KR positioned his people with their unique technical knowledge to be a part of a new vision of design. I had this idea to build a standardized factory roof with shed light. We could add elements for expansion, like a Meccano toy set for adults. The ideas didn't stop. The company was ahead of its time in many areas. Olsen, listen. You're our customer service on wheels. This here is the price list. There are reasonable prices, no special offers. All clients are to be treated equal. You understand? and time was set aside for inspirational travels. K. 
KR was always on the go. However, he knew the value of spending quality time with his family. Hmm, we got a broken wheel and an alarm clock that I just can't figure out. What shall we do? Hey, use the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> K.R. got help from his father-in-law to establish a workshop. But they soon found they were losing money. Here's what we need to do. We have to organize our production. Our methods are too slow. Remember, we are a building industry. We can still maintain a high quality of craftsmanship, but we have to speed up the process. Slowly, the company developed into an efficient industrial workplace. K.R. and his employees stepped into modern times. The pioneer spirit of the team thrived, and it was now time to expand. Johnson, here's a list of possible partners in Hamburg. You definitely have a firm grasp of the language, and I know you can make a deal. However, none of the companies show much interest. Fortunately, there's talk about a company in Meldorf. We started as cabinet makers. We then expanded the furniture. And um, now we specialize in windows and doors. But roof windows? This is very interesting. KR meets the owner, Ernst Gunther Albers, and solidifies a strong friendship. The result was a jointly owned Velux sales company in Hamburg, where the Germans manufacture the roof windows and the Danes deliver the metal hinges and general know-how. The partnership succeeds and helps remodel thousands of family homes. The darkness of unused spaces was transformed by the healthy benefits of nature shining into their daily lives. And KR's vision traveled further. Across borders. Across countries. Across continents. Company expansion led to new challenges. Uh, excuse me, but where are the Velux windows? You agreed to put them on display. Uh, uh wee, wee, wee. We have to do something or we'll sink into oblivion. Yep, yes, but the dealers just don't understand our roof window concept. Hey, let's start our own sales department here in Paris. With revitalized efforts, sales rose gradually. After careful consideration, the venture to build a production company in France became a success. So much that in French, the word Velux nearly became synonymous with roof windows. The fall of the US dollar led to a new strategy in USA. A young team of colleagues scouted important location sites in various states while K.R. decided to rest in a small town in South Carolina. How you doing, sir? Please, please, sit down and relax. You look as if you're in desperate need for a haircut. Just a trim around the edges, thank you. Well, I'm gonna give you a shave too, free of charge, seeing as you being a new customer and all. Why, thank you. You're awfully nice in this town. We here in Greenwood like to show our hospitality. Greenwood? Th this place is called Greenwood? That's right, Greenwood, South Carolina. <laughs> That's remarkable. One of my favorite places back home is called Greenwood. I highly recommend you stay a bit longer. We got the festival flowers coming up, jazz concerts, and... K.R. was impressed by the barber's service. So much that his colleagues were called back to plan a Velux location in the heart of South Carolina. Although there were rough starts, the decision turned out to be a great success. As the company increased in size, K.R. wanted to ensure that his own values were imprinted throughout its structure. So he formulated a mission called the Model Company Objective. The purpose of the VKR Group is to establish a number of model companies which cooperate in an exemplary manner. A model company works with products useful to society and treats its customers, suppliers, employees of all categories and shareholders better than most other companies. 
A model company makes a profit which can finance growth and maintain financial independence. And a new generation of daylight engineers blossomed. While ideas flourished, the company grew and grew. But suddenly, the oil crisis of the 70s hit, and it hit everyone hard, not once, but twice. As you can see, the vertical elements just aren't selling. We're gonna have to lay off hundreds of employees. Okay. Okay, Hauko, thank you. Now, listen up. I want this process handled with care and respect for the workers. Running a business is about dealing with people. Not all construction came to a halt. Renovation of existing housing resulted in a boom and a new breed of Velux roof windows emerged which changed lots of square meters of unusable attic storage into wonderful living environments. The company was able to adapt facilities and hire back many of its employees. KR was confident and left the business details to many of his younger managers. With the crisis still lingering, KR saw a new venture. To invest in this enterprise would be disastrous. I understand, but I truly believe this is a golden chance. We have a possibility to make a vertical window as good as our roof window, and the timing is now. KR got his way, but it took years to develop the windows. The unique design turned out to be a revolution in the building industry, with an aluminium outer sash and a wooden inner sash. The gamble paid off, but it was a difficult turnaround. And KR went back to his passion to create and design new ideas. Around this time, an event happened that shook the world. The fall of the Iron Curtain brought the rise of opportunity. Three years earlier, the company had established a partnership with Hungary and was one of the first Danish industries to produce in the Eastern Bloc. This paved the way to deals with Poland and other former communist countries. Daylight spread across the world and forever changed contemporary living. In 1993, at an age of 84, K.R. passed away. He was buried in a place which symbolized his life's source of passion, a place with fresh air and plenty of daylight. The island Manu, his childhood home. Before he died, he was able to establish an everlasting gift, the Velux Foundations. In the 1960s, KR had already started preparing for corporate succession, so that his company could continue after his death as a sound and financially independent unit. The idea of a foundation appealed to KR because a significant share of the company's profit would be transferred to a philanthropic foundation, which has the purpose to support technical science, social care, culture, and the environment. Upon recommendation from K.R. Sun, an employee foundation was also established, which provides support of education for employees' children or such things as serious illness in the family. And that's how it all began. My father, Willem Kahn Rasmussen, had a unique vision. 75 years have passed since that vision was brought to life. Now, while he was active, my father had 55 patents and nine designs to his name. Thanks to the many dedicated employees over the years, we now have about 2,000 patents and designs. My father created a unique culture of innovation that continues to prevail in the VKR group. Not everything has succeeded for us, but with the Velux roof window, lots of square meters of unused attic space has changed to comfortable and affordable living quarters. Today, literally millions of people and families enjoy daylight and fresh air through their Velux roof windows. Around Europe, the architecture has completely transformed since the creation of Velux. Years ago, I started at the newly established Velux France in Paris. I followed the company's development closely, and now that I've left the business side to the younger generation, I can gladly confirm that the VKR group is as solid as ever still striving to bring daylight, fresh air and improved environment into people's everyday lives.
my father would have been proud to see that his pioneering spirit and core values still thrive today. And that calls for a celebration.